All right, BattleBox fans, I've got the latest box for August 2022. If you're into outdoor stuff, camping stuff, survival stuff, this is an awesome subscription. Let's open this thing up and check it out. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future and I'm back with another BattleBox unboxing. So BattleBox is one of our favorite subscriptions on the channel, always lots of really interesting stuff every month. BattleBox is never boring, that's one thing I can say about it. Uh, it comes in four different levels, so the basic box, advanced box, uh, pro and pro plus, start as low as 30-ish dollars, go all the way up to about $160 or so. So this is the big boy, this is the pro plus box, which always kind of comes with a big blade or something fun um, to round out the package. but. Uh, let's open this thing up. This is Mission 90 for August in 2022. I'm going to use my Wii Knife Banter, these cool carbon fiber scales. I really enjoyed this knife so far. So let's open it up and check it out. And by the way, you can't really see it right now, but I've got a new background going, uh, which I'm really digging. So let me know what you think of that. And I just got over COVID, so my voice sounds a little different. I don't know what's going on with me still. Still can't smell or taste, which is a lot stranger than I thought it would be, but... Um, anyway, here we go. I'm going to move this over to the side so we got lots of room to unbox stuff and let's take a look at this thing. As always, we have our mission brief. Like I said, this is mission 90. And if you go through this thing, it'll give you a good rundown of what's in the box and uh, just tell you a little bit more about each item there. So like I mentioned earlier, there's our basic box over here to the left. This is the least expensive option. And if you keep looking, we got advanced, pro, um, and then pro plus. Looks like Fun stuff as always. The box is heavy too, so I'm always curious when there's something heavy inside these things. Let's uh, take a look at the basic box first, and we'll start with uh, the Atwood Rope Mini TRD Micro Cord Dispenser, which, let's see, it's kind of tucked away in the bottom here. So let's see what we have here, like I said, from Atwood Rope Manufacturing, made in the USA, always super cool. Looks like this is a micro cord dispenser, so not like paracord. We've had paracord dispensers in, um, I think, a battle box in the past even, but it looks like this is a 100 pound test, so this may be like um, Kevlar cord or Kevlar rope, if you're familiar with that. Uh, if you've watched any of our EDC videos uh, where I make some different kits and stuff, I like to keep those in those kits because it packs down really small, you can see here. Uh, super light stuff, but it's actually strong for most of the use cases you'll actually end up using this sort of rope for. So you can see all the specs down here, all the boring stuff, and a little mini guide for like tying knots and that sort of thing. You know, let's pop this open and take a look at it. It's actually pretty cool. Some surgery on the back here to get this thing out. I'll put this over to the side. Um, it kind of reminds me of a little packing tape dispenser. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Just a, um, a reel of this uh, cordage here, like I said, 100 pound test, so still pretty strong. Your typical paracord is 550 pounds, uh, but you just yank it out when you need it, uh, thread it through this little spot down here, and then you have a cutter built in too. It's a little tight right now because the, the spool is so full out of the package, which is nice, but it just cuts right away, and then you got it right there when you need it. Uh, just really simple, thin rope. It doesn't look like it has multiple threads or anything inside of it, but I actually really like this thing. Um, I'm gonna throw this in my truck. Paracord is awesome and it's useful for survival stuff. and has a ton of different uses, but sometimes you just need uh, a smaller line or something you can use. You could probably even use this in a pinch uh, to do some survival style fishing or something like that. I think, I think the spool is actually replaceable too. Uh, 125 feet of it. Yeah, reloadable and reusable, so that's neat. The packaging reminds you here too that it ties very well, and this stuff does tie well, which is nice because it's so small, you can really get some uh, tight, mean little knots in there. That's a really handy thing to have. So that's the Mini TRD from Atwood Rope. It's a little cord dispenser worth $12.95. A uh, good item to start out with there. We'll pop it up here, and then we'll keep on going with our unboxing. Let's check out what's next. We have the Charlotte's Web Custom Camp Organizer. Uh, I've actually, I feel like I've seen this on a video on YouTube, a uh, really interesting thing where you attach it to two trees, almost like a, a ridge line on a hammock, uh, but then it has all these little slots inside of it where you can hang some stuff up. So let's check this thing out. Uh, Charlotte's webbing's got a little spider on there and everything, which might give you the heebie-jeebies if you're nervous about spiders like I am. But they give you some carabiners too, a few of the different ones, and some little uh, connection points there. Looks like this is the BattleBox edition, so I guess it's uh, branded, yeah, it's got some BattleBox logos and stuff on it. Um, I'm not going to open this on camera because it's uh, going to be hard to display here, but you can see kind of the idea behind this. So it's a, kind of a long webbed rope. It has little slots on the inside where the rope itself still has a lot of strength because of where the little notches are cut out, but you can hang up shirts, you can hang up just random things around the campsite. Looks like the carabiners are actually gear beaners uh, with a 50 pound rating. Um, you got some alligator clips and stuff like that. Uh, but this is one of those things you probably wouldn't think to pick up for your camp kit, but when you get a box like BattleBox, these are the types of things that you end up throwing 
Um, if you have like an outdoors tote, that's what we have with all of our gear and stuff in it from subscriptions like this and everything. It's really fun. I just throw that in the truck or throw it in the camper when we go out. Sometimes it's fun just sitting around the campsite trying to think like, okay, I've got this cool gear. How can I actually use this stuff now? Um, it's a lot of fun doing that. So this is uh, a really cool, actually useful, pretty handy item there. Outdoor Element makes some pretty interesting things too. So uh, I'm excited to see this in the box this month. So that's the Charlotte's Webbing Camp Organizer. It goes for $22.95. Uh, pretty fun. I like that. Uh, toadfish. All right, so I'm familiar with this. Now, I see a few toadfish items in the box. I actually am only familiar with like their camp mugs and this sort of stuff. So I'm excited to see one of these in the box. I'm not too familiar with the pro item over here, so we'll have to take a look at that in a second. But uh, these tumblers are super, super cool. You may have seen these in like some premium uh, kind of bougie outdoors places. We have one in town that sells this stuff. Uh, you'll know it from the, the neon teal color. I think there's a few other options in boxes this month. So if you have a subscription or are going to pick one up, you may get a different colorway in this. Uh, but how these work uh, are really straightforward. They're kind of like your typical um, double wall insulated mug, where of course they're going to keep your drinks really warm or really cool. Um, just do a great job of that. Have some, oh, man, that lid is on there. Um, actually has a measuring thing inside the mug here, which is really cool as well, and some paperwork and all that inside. But that's not what makes these cool. What makes these cool is this bonkers suction cup mechanism here at the bottom. So I don't really have a good way of demonstrating this right here, but the idea is uh, this little suction cup style mechanism, uh, if you pick it straight up, it just pops right up no matter what. But if it's on like a hard surface, they, they show these off on the boats, on the hood of a car and that sort of thing. But the idea is it won't tip over like whatsoever because the suction cup activates um, pretty much any other way. So if it gets hit from the side or a kid or a pet runs into it, it won't fall over. But when you pick it up, it just pops right off. Like there's no, you don't have to pull on it or anything. It's a really interesting mechanism that I found actually pretty fascinating. So it says the lid itself is dishwasher safe. You do need to hand wash the mug, probably because of the mechanism there at the bottom. That's a really fun product to see uh, BattleBox include in here. I've actually saw these in stores and it's one of those things where I don't have that big of a problem in my life with things like falling over and everything, but it's just so cool. I never could bring myself to actually buy one of these but I'm glad to see these in a box. So that is the Toadfish 10 ounce rocks tumbler worth uh, $24. And that's actually really accurate with the pricing I'm seeing at some of the local outdoor stores and everything. We live by a lake, so this sort of thing is pretty common, but awesome. Really dig that. Uh, Non-tipping rocks tumbler from Toadfish. That's a fun thing. So that's the basic box this month. That's your um, least expensive subscription from BattleBox. Get some really interesting items there. So let's pop these over to the side and get into the stuff that um, typically is a lot of fun. And that is the Advanced Box, Pro Box, and Pro Plus. So we have the Pure Bag, P and G, Procter and Gamble combo here. Um, so I'm familiar with um, the Procter and Gamble stuff, which we'll talk about. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the bag itself. So it kind of comes loose. Uh, you get this really thick, it's almost like one of those foldable water bottles, like a platypus bag. It's that sort of material, but you get this really thick kind of bag here. We'll take off the packaging and take a look at this. Uh, I have seen the video that BattleBox put out about this product, but I haven't really seen it anywhere else. So we got some paperwork here and we have some instruction and everything and how to actually do it. And then a big old bag of those Procter & Gamble uh, water purifier things, which I've used in some EDC kits and some emergency kits before. I really like these and that's actually a ton of those things. That's nice to have regardless. But this bag, um, you can see it kind of folded out. Looks like it actually has the instructions uh, shown on here and like the tie down system and everything inside for you. Uh, but the idea is you get your pond water or the water, just the clearest water you can find outside. You don't want to find like a gross water source and try to use that. But you know, all water sources outside are a little bit gross, but you fill it up, you add your Procter & Gamble uh, purifier stuff, you seal it up, you shake it up a little bit and let that purifier of water do its magic. And what happens is all the sediment, all the gross stuff kind of settles to the bottom down here in this part of the bag. And then at the top right above that, you have the spout here where you can take out the clean water. Um, so it's a really interesting system for some emer emergency water purification. Uh, it's kind of a different take in the whole thing. So if you don't want to carry a filter around or you need to purify like a large amount of water, it uh, looks like this thing holds, according to their instructions here, 10 full liters of water. So that's kind of an interesting way to purify water around a campsite. And it's so light, this whole thing here, it's only six ounces empty. So for, for a container to even carry that much water plus purify that much, it's a really lightweight system, uh, great for maybe a family bug out bag, emergency preparedness kit too. 
and probably just fun in general to hang out with and play with around the campsite. The Pure Bag Procter & Gamble combo, uh, worth $49 here, really interesting stuff. Like I said, I really like that it has so much of that Procter & Gamble stuff, because even if you don't plan to use this bag or plan to use it pretty infrequently, having those packets to put in your kit and everything is a great thing to see uh, from a battle box box. So that's fun, that's your advanced box there. Uh, let's move on to the Pro Plus box, which actually has several items from Toadfish. You can see the rundown right here. So we have a folding fillet knife, a folding cutting board, and then a neoprene fillet case. So let's check all of those things out. Here's our case right there for everything. We'll start here with the folding board. Actually, man, that must be where the weight's coming from in this box. Um, this thing's a little bit heavy, not like heavy, but it's hefty, it's solid. Uh, you can see the full length of that there, a little bit more than a foot, I'd say probably 14 or 15 inches. That was close, 12 by 16 inches. So uh, really neat. So it looks like it just folds right out that you get a nice solid cutting surface. Uh, if you're into fishing, if you're into eating stuff, fresh out of a lake, out of the ocean on a boat, uh, this is the item you probably want to have. So it closes up and stays closed with magnets. Has an anti-skid bottom. That was a sticker, if you just heard that noise. Uh, anti-skid bottom there. That's really interesting. Uh, folds up, of course. Totally dishwasher safe, which is super nice. Uh, really easy to clean that stuff. And I like that it actually has a little knife sharpener on the side there, uh, probably for the fillet knife. Let's take a look at that thing. So that does fold up pretty easy and it does stay shut, which is nice too. It doesn't just kind of flop around or flop open. All right, let's take a look at this knife. Really dig the packaging on that, <laughs> kind of reminds me of my background down here. Seven inches, has a carabiner built into it. They make a big deal, toadfish all of their stuff if you've seen that in their packaging. They say a portion of the proceeds go to replenishing the population of inshore species like redfish, trout, and that sort of thing. You can get a rundown of the features of this fillet knife here. We've got some raised grips, some non-slip stuff, a titanium rust-resistant blade, which is interesting. Let's see how this opens. Okay, got a magnetic clasp here. Look at this knife, it's actually really nice looking. So. It is very grippy, nice rubberized surface. Has that trademark uh, toadfish teal kind of color. Nice grip there. The blade, it's got a little nail nick thing on it here, but really you just grab it and pull it out. That is very thin and very slicey. Uh, so it's titanium too, which is interesting from a blade standpoint. You don't see that all that often, but I can see it, that grip being really nice when you're trying to cut some stuff up. It has a good resting spot for your thumb there. Um, no jimping or anything on the back, but the grippy handle and everything helps out. Um, the handle is super, um, it's got that nice kind of rubberized tacky feeling. So if your hands are gross or slippery from trying to clean up a fish, uh, it's gonna be easy to handle. The carabiner, I guess if you have, I don't know, I guess anything you wanna hang the knife on is probably handy for a little uh, camp kitchen or a kitchen in a boat. Be pretty nice. The blade, uh, yeah, it's got a little sharp edge on it. So you can take that, like, like I mentioned earlier on the, the sharpener here for your cutting board, that's a good way to freshen up that edge every time before you're um, getting your fish prepared. That'd be nice. And it looks like we have kind of a, a lock back mechanism here, like some folding pocket knives too. So just press that in and it folds right up. Um, whew, right at the edge there, do you notice that? Whoop, it kind of closes <laughs> shut pretty quickly. So make sure your fingers aren't in the way when you're doing that sort of thing, uh, or you'll have a little accident. You don't want that. So that is uh, the Toadfish Folding Filet Knife. That's really nice. Uh, feels premium, doesn't feel like a cheap thing at all. Feels like a nice um, premium thing you'd like to get as a gift. If you're into fishing, um, especially preparing your catch and everything, I think you're gonna enjoy that combination of stuff. And then you have the little uh, neoprene bag here as well. We'll take a quick look at that before we move on. And this is just a whole system where you put your cutting board and put your knife all together and keep it in a nice package. So uh, about what you'd expect, kind of a neoprene sock thing to hold both uh, the cutting board and the knife together with your little Toadfish logo. Uh, just a nice uh, finishing piece there. So cool item from Toadfish. Again, I love these mugs. This is super, super fun. If you're into fishing, you'll definitely use this stuff. Um, I don't do much fishing stuff, even though we live on a lake, I gotta change that. That's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? But having this cutting board is nice and we'll have that in the camper for um, doing some campground cooking and definitely have this uh, cool tumbler around there. So that's pretty interesting from Toadfish. That is the pro item this month is this whole filet system here. Let's take one final look through what is typically one of the most favorite items in the box every month. And that is a pro plus item, which is almost always a knife or a blade or something fun and slicey like that. So this month it looks like we have Something from the Summit Knife Company, the Mount Olympus Folder, 2.75 inch VG10 blade steel. It's a liner lock, it's got carbon fiber scales, that's kind of cool. Brass colored hardware, 2.7 ounces, so it sounds super light. 
I am not familiar with this brand at all. So let's open it up. Let's take a look at this thing. So we've got our packaging here. Uh, they got the cool kind of mountain look on the outside. Uh, that's interesting looking. Let's slide it open. Take a look at the blade. Kind of a similar box to our toadfish knife where you got the magnetic closure here. We've got some paperwork, we've got a nice presentation, a little rundown of Mount Olympus at the top, which is pretty fun. Um, look at this knife. I like, you know, the more I've messed with EDC knives lately, the more I've enjoyed knives about this size. You get a smaller size. These are my, my banter over here that I use to open things up. Um, this is not a big knife at all. Kind of just the right hand size, just the right thing to throw in some shorts and some jeans. Not a very big blade, but this looks like it's kind of along those lines. So let's open it up and take a look. Carbon fiber scales, which are nice. Uh, it's weird, smooth, but also a little bit grippy at the same time, so that's cool. The liners all have that interesting brass colored look. Uh, the blade centering looks pretty good too. Deep carry-ish clip. It does kind of come up here with the space for a lanyard if you want to do that thing. So the clip is deep carry um, according to the scales, but you still have a little bit of a jut there. Uh, but let's uh, check out the blade itself. Uh, which feels pretty nice upon that initial opening. It is a liner lock here, so let's see how the action feels. Let me see if I can flick it out. Yeah, that actually has a pretty nice action. Sometimes some of the knives I feel like I've received in Battle Box especially have kind of an interesting look sometimes. Uh, a few of them have had a really stiff action. There was one a few months ago from Fox Knives that was just absolutely awesome. I really enjoyed that thing. Some others have been hit or miss over time, but this one's actually uh, nicer than I would have thought, um, especially having it in the hand after looking at it in the picture here. I actually really enjoy this one. So the carbon fiber looks nice. You know, it's more of a premium material, but I feel like sometimes it can come off kind of tacky, but I actually really like the treatment here. Uh, the jumping on and the little rise in the back of the blade. It reminds me a little bit of the Ontario Rat a little bit, which kind of has a little bit of a rise in the back that gives your thumb a place to sit. Uh, the thumb studs are nice. They felt good when I opened things up, like the action felt really good with those. Um, very flickable, which is nice. They seem like they poke out a little bit, but you know what, with everything closed up, it doesn't seem to go past uh, the scales and the handle or anything. That is nice. Um, like I said, long, kind of a thinner clip there. You know what, I actually like this thing. I didn't really expect to like it all that much just from looking at the picture, but it is pretty nice. Not too familiar with the brand, but this does feel really nice. Like I said, VG10 Steel earlier, which is a very nice steel. I think a Japanese steel. It actually fairly easy to sharpen too, but keeps it edge a long time, so. Um, yeah, that's a good light knife of the month from these guys. So this is the Summit Knife Company Mount Olympus folder worth $109. Nice to see in the box. Makes for a pretty good knife of the month this month. So that's it for this month's battle box. We have the Summit Knife Company Mount Olympus folder, folding knife here. We've got this fillet system from Toadfish. Really, uh, really a great brand. Cool to see so many items from them this month. We got this cool tumbler. We've got the Pure Bag uh, combo system here with uh, the Procter & Gamble. Uh, purifier water packets, a bunch of those. We have our Charlotte's Webbing uh, camp organization system. We have this really cool uh, cordage organizer from Atwood Rope. Uh, just a really fun box. So if you're interested in getting Battle Box for yourself, make sure you use the link on the screen or down in the description. Save yourself some money um, and help support our channel at the same time. Really fun subscription. It's, like I said, it's always interesting. I rarely ever just get junk or repetitive uh, you see it everywhere style items of battle box it's always very interesting curated stuff it's a fun subscription to have so definitely worth checking out that's it for this month's unboxing i uh, hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this we'll see you next time